Hi guys, it's Gigi and I'm going to be doing my March favorites video, but I'm going to be trying to do it without coughing, without sneezing, because I am really, really sick right now. So when I get sick, I honestly try to do my makeup. I try to like act like I'm not sick. I'll like just like get ready, do my hair, you know, pick out a cute outfit, put on some lipstick. I'm like, you're not sick. You're not sick at all. My body feels like I ran a triathlon or something. So I just wanted to preface that at the beginning of the video, just in case I cough. So just beware. I mean, I'm probably going to edit out all the coughs, to be honest. But yeah, just because I'm sick, I didn't want to miss a monthly favorites because I really am going to try to do all of them this year. So my first favorite of the month is being sick related. This is the NyQuil Cold and Flu. <sighs> How I love you so much. If anyone has ever taken, I think it's like 30 milliliters or something of this, when they're sick before bed, it is literally like the best thing ever. I'm not endorsing sleeping medication, but like when you're sick, you kind of just need to be put to bed and like literally just like put out. And this just makes me forget the tragedy that I'm going through on a daily basis of coughing, sneezing, let me just read this, headache, fever, sore throat, minor aches and pains, sneezing, runny nose, and cough. And girl, do I have all the above. Recently, I have been obsessed with Lush. And honestly, everyone has told me for so long, go to Lush, buy their bath bombs. And I have bought a few bath bombs, but I was never obsessed. And I never had like an inventory in my bathroom of them. But recently, I went on Lush.com and I've literally been hoarding bath bombs. So basically, they're little pucks of, I guess it's like kind of chalky powder. And you put it in the bath and literally it smells amazing. It'll leave your entire bathroom smelling like you lit a candle or something or sprayed perfume. And these are my two favorites. This one is Sex Bomb. If you have, you know, a little sexy time you're planning or you just want to get in the mood. It's a very like romantic scent. And this one, which is called Big Blue, I think that the name suits how it looks. And this one I love when I'm sick. It has lemon oil in it. And I think, what else does it have? Lavender, citric acid, sea salt. So I feel like when I take a bath with this, I took one last night, I feel like it just opens up my sinuses and makes me feel very not sick for a short amount of time. So if you have a favorite Lush bath bomb, definitely let me know. I want to try like literally all of them. I think I have all of them, but if you guys have your favorites, let me know. <coughs> oh my God. Oh, Jesus. Two more minutes of talking, please. What did I ever do to you? So I have one skincare product here that I've literally been using every single day and it's really good for me because I have never really been into toners. So this is the Kiehl's Cucumber Herbal Alcohol-Free Toner. And I really like Kiehl's for their quality of their products, but I don't really like the packaging. It's super, super bland, and it almost looks like a man's product, don't you think? Like, just sitting there so bland. I want cute things on my toner. Like, where are the hearts? Where are the flowers? Where are the ribbons? Uh, but anyways, this toner is really nice. It's very fresh and I feel like if you wear makeup on your face, whether you use a makeup wipe or you use a cleanser, you're not going to be getting 100% of the makeup off your face unless you go over with the cleanser again or a makeup wipe again, but that can be kind of harsh on your skin. So what I use is I use a cotton pad and a little bit of this and I go over it. And honestly, every single time I do it, I'm so shocked at how much dirt is on the cotton pad. I'm like, girl, I was filthy. But because I'm sick, I feel like all I've been doing recently is washing my face, putting like a, a treatment on or my argan oil that I've talked about recently and just like letting that soak in and just like having a beauty moment. You know what I mean? All right, so now three things of makeup. Actually, no, this one's kind of a skincare thing. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Lip Therapy. And I've loved this. This is literally quickly turning into like a, a sick time routine video. I love, 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 love this stuff. I used to use the Carmex Lip Balm, and that is a very high intense moisturizing very glossy lip balm and this is almost the exact same thing but it just has a very nice menthol taste and feel to it it'll leave your lips kind of tingly and it just smells like full-on mint which i love and i don't know why anything minty or fresh or anything like that to get my sinuses open and just make me feel not sick anymore is amazing so if you are sick or you just like mint or peppermint lip balms definitely try out the first day beauty ultra repair lip therapy okay so oh my god this concealer changed my life so i have literally been seeing all over instagram all over youtube girls using the nars radiant concealer i mean i was kind of stuck in my ways of the mac pro longwear which i've loved forever and i think does an amazing job of covering my under eye circles not that i have like deep deep heavy set bags but i like the way that it brightens and i like the way that it sits and doesn't crease that much everyone has been ranting and raving about these concealers so I picked them up on Sephora.com and honestly, I finally see the light. I understand. I picked up two shades, one in vanilla and one in ginger. And the lighter one for under my
my eyes and the kind of yellow toned tan color for the pimples and blemishes on my face if I ever have any. And it kind of mimics the texture of real skin while being full coverage, which is very exciting. So if you're kind of scared to dive into the Studio Finish Concealer or Pro Longwear from MAC because you think it's too heavy, definitely give these a try. And if you want to sheer it out with some Fix Plus or, you know, just like using less product or whatever, using it on your hand first, definitely do so. But I love this stuff and I'm so happy I have it in my collection now. All right, so the last makeup product I'm gonna talk about is just a setting eyebrow gel. Before for my brows, I was using the Brow Pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and now I'm using the pencil. So before, I found that the pomade kinda had a gel consistency to it, so it would hold my brows in place. But now that I've switched to the pencil, because I feel like it's a little bit less harsh on me, and I don't have to be as careful about how much I use, I can kinda just like paint it on as I please, which is way easier for me. I use the clear brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I really, really like this brow gel I think that you could honestly use anything to like comb up your brows but this is just what I've been using recently and it works really well all right so for my favorite movie and my favorite book of the month I would definitely have to say my favorite movie of the month I am so late with this movie but I recently watched Lucy with Scarlett Johansson and I absolutely loved it I know when I saw the trailer for it I was like oh my god I need to see that that's one of the movies that I really want to go to opening day and then I never got around to it and I was browsing through action movies obviously I was not the one that picked action genre I'm always down for a rom-com or a com or a thriller but we were in the action category and Lucy passed by I was like okay if we're gonna be watching an action movie can we please watch a girl action movie so we decided to watch Lucy and it is so good and it's kind of like a mind trip like it kind of like mind tripped me so that was my favorite movie nothing special kind of an oldie and my favorite book as you guys know I do not read my books I get them read to me on my audible app which looks like this and right now I am reading Insurgent by Veronica Roth I've only listened to about 15 minutes of it but I'm very excited to get fully into it because I've been seeing posters all over town and everyone is very excited about this movie and I love Shailene Woodley Oh, the Felt Star Stars, that movie ruined me. I cried for like literally that entire movie. So sad. But yeah, if you guys do not know about Audible, definitely go and check them out at audible.com slash gg to get your first book for free with me. And instead of reading or whatever, like yesterday I was in a bath, as I told you guys, I was listening to Insurgent and I wanted to like relax. So it's perfect for sick days, perfect for driving in the car, or doing your makeup. If you don't want to listen to an action book like Insurgent, there are thousands and thousands of books on audible.com. So there's definitely going to be one for you. So that is all for my March favorites. I hope you guys are not sick like me because my throat right now is like on fire from talking this much. I haven't talked this much in like a couple days. So yeah, let me know what you guys have been loving this past month and I will definitely try to pick it up for next month. And until I see you guys next time, stay gorgeous and stay healthy. Ha <laughs>